everybody, my name is Joe Scavato, and welcome back to our 23 Days with God. Today we're going to be talking about the wisdom of God. So let's take a moment now to read and reflect on God's Word together. Can you think of a time in your life where your trust has been tested? I remember getting my learner's permit back when I was in high school and learning how to drive and being so excited about the freedom and independence that I was about to have. Until one Saturday morning when my dad woke me up and told me that we were going downtown and I was going to learn real driving, which was his way of saying city driving. And I have this just clear memory of him telling me to merge onto the highway for the first time. I think his exact words were step on it, like we were in a getaway vehicle or something, and just being absolutely terrified of what I was doing. I remember cars just flying past me on, on either side as he tried to have me change lanes and to use my mirrors, and, and my eyes were just fixed on the car in front of me. And eventually he told me just to, to turn when he says to turn and to trust that he wasn't going to put me in harm. Today, I want to spend a few minutes with you considering the wisdom of God. What does it mean when we say that God is wise? In his book, uh, Knowledge of the Holy Tozer describes wisdom as knowledge that is put to good use. In other words, wisdom is a compound characteristic. It's the combination of, of two of God's attributes, both his complete knowledge and also his complete goodness working together. This is what it means, in other words, to trust in the wisdom of God, to believe that two things are true in your life and in mine. Number one, that God knows more than I do, even about myself. We don't like admitting this sometimes, but it's true. That if God is all-knowing, then unlike me, he has no blind spots, no self-deception, no shame or arrogance clouding the way that he sees me, that he knew me before I even took a breath on this earth. To believe in God's wisdom is to proclaim that even when our eyes can only see what's in front of us, that he can see the entire road. And number two, to trust in the wisdom of God is to believe that God will put that knowledge to good use. That God is not just a cruel observer, not just sitting on the sidelines and collecting data as we go through the ups and downs of life, not just aware of and allowing of pain without any plan. To believe in the wisdom of God is to believe that he not only sees the road, but when he tells me to turn, he won't lead me to harm. If we can believe those things, then one thing becomes inescapable as followers of Jesus, that if God is wise then he can also be trusted. Think about that for a moment. If God is not just all-knowing, but if he uses that knowledge for our good, then no matter what, we can trust him. Even in seasons of life where that goodness is difficult to find. If God is wise, if I can trust that he is working all things for good, as Romans 8 tells us, then that radically changes the way that I view my situation when that goodness is hard to find. because. Even when I don't see it, I can trust in his wisdom. So often it seems like God has either forgotten about us or he knows what's going on and just doesn't care. Here's the reminder that some of us need today. God sees you exactly as you are right now. He knows your situation. He knows what you've been through. He knows it all. He has all the knowledge anyone could ever have, and, and even when we cannot see it, he is using that knowledge for good. <laughs>